Hi guys, so uh, we are at page um, 341, uh, still featuring um, Trail Guide to the Body, and um, still at pelvis and thigh. This time we're going to be um, featuring the ilio lumbar ligament and the sciatic nerve. Okay, so the ilio lumbar um, ligament is located between the transverse uh, process of the fourth and fifth lumbar vertebrae and the posterior iliac crest. So looking at the image here, 6.150, as you can see a smaller image here. So the client um, is sinking um, the thumb onto the, his thumb or her thumb onto the ilio lumbar ligament, okay? So the client is in a prone um, position and you can see this in the posterior lateral view. Okay, again, guys, we need um, uh, special consent for sensitive area on top of the consent. Okay, we have to give them an informed consent, the original consent. And when we are doing a sensitive area, I cannot stress this more enough, we need to have another informed consent because we need to uh, tell them why are we working on that certain area. Okay, so the strong horizontal fibers of the ligament are important in stabilizing L4 and L5. So the ligament is difficult to palpate, being deep to the thoracolumbar uh, aponeurosis, the thick multifidi, and the quadratus lumborum. <clears throat> However, its location and density can be determined. Case of partner in prone, locate the, locate the PSIS. Uh, slide your thumb straight superior from the PSIS to the level of L4 and L5. So your thumb should be between the iliac crest and the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae. So using firm pressure, sink into the dense um, muscle of the low, low back and attempt to roll vertically across the ligament's thought fibers. Okay, so can you palpate its dense horizontal fibers? Okay, so sciatic nerve. So the sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the body. Okay, looking at the image here, uh, 6.151, the client is in a sideline position. As you can see, the therapist is trying to locate the um, the sciatic nerve. So this is the, this is the um, greater trochanter, and this is the ischial tuberosity. Okay, so um, sometimes measuring three quarters of an inch in diameter, it is formed by the sp spinal nerves of L4 through S3. So the nerves passes through the great sciatic notch. So between this uh, ischial tuberosity and greater trochanter, and extend down the posterior thigh. Distally, it branches into the tibial and peroneal nerves. Because the sciatic nerve runs deep to the piriformis, there is considerable potential for the piriformis to compress or entrap the nerve. I, I have mentioned this many, many times, guys, that there are times that it is not really a sciatic uh, nerve syndrome. It is just a piriformis being hypertonic or hypertoned, right? It could be in a spasm, the deep muscle. If you're doing a lot of lateral rotation, you're, you know, um, especially if you've given birth, <laughs> you know, your performance is very, very um, hypertoned. So the sciatic nerve is difficult to oscillate in the gluteal region. And of course, is best avoided. So first, outline the placement of the sciatic nerve. So with your partner um, in being in prone position, locate the edge of the sacrum. So draw a line um, down the bottom between the ischial tuberosity and greater trochanter. Continue down the middle of the posterior thigh. So this is the location of the nerve. So to access the sciatic nerve, turn your partner side lying and flex the hip. So locate the ischial tuberosity and greater trochanter. Okay, so we're going to palpate between the, these landmarks for the pathway of the sciatic nerve. You can avoid pinching the nerve by palpating with the pad of your thumb. Okay, so see you guys on page 342.